Construction began on the new home of Space Shuttle Atlantis this week at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in Florida. The exhibit hall that will house the historic spacecraft will be built only a few miles from the launch site of all the Space Shuttle missions. Speaking during the groundbreaking ceremony on Wednesday, January 18, 2012, astronaut Chris Ferguson described making the last flight of Atlantis in the summer of 2011. He then laid out the spacecraft's new goals of inspiration. I told them that, you know, Atlantis's mission in space is over, but its, its mission to inspire uh, generations of potential space travelers is just beginning. The museum structure is being built while the spacecraft itself continues its methodical transition and retirement processing in a hangar at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Delaware North, which runs the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex for NASA, plans a unique display for Atlantis. The shuttle will stand above the floor with its landing gear retracted, its payload bay doors open, and the robotic arm extended in the same way it did when the shuttle flew in space. More than a million visitors are expected to see Atlantis each year as it stands on display. I appreciate NASA, as I mentioned before, for approving Florida to be the final home for the shuttle Atlantis. Atlantis had a successful final launch, mission, and return right here in our backyard. The structure is expected to open in 2013. It will include detailed presentations about what was learned during the 30 years of space shuttle flights, as well as show what life is like on board the International Space Station, the orbiting laboratory more than 200 miles above Earth that the shuttle fleet played a major role in constructing.